you can see the pipe back in here. And that's what, it was jumpy signal. And I got that and then I just started scooping out. Then I saw that. Well, good morning, boys and girls. On the road again. This time I'm in the great state of Louisiana. Headed down to central Louisiana and going to meet up with Bayou Diggs and we're going to go back to the circus grounds that I had real good success on. We both did finding seated dimes and barber dimes and uh, v nickels and shield nickels and I found that U.S. box plate and we got another new commission that when we were down there last time we got and uh, the guy wanted us to come over and hunt it but when it got cooler so it's cooler now and so I'm headed back down there to hit these spots and hopefully we're going to find some old coins and maybe some good Civil War relics as well. I hope so and uh, have another good video like we did that last time. So anyway, I've got a little bit further to go and so I will see you out on location. This is where we found all those good V nickels and shield nickels and seeded and barbers and everything else. And uh, we're uh, gonna, hopefully we can find it again this time as well. So I got with me, Mr. Bayou Diggs. And what are we gonna find this time? Uh, everything we missed the first you, time. You called it last time. You said old coins and relics and everything else and we got it. So I'm gonna hold you to it this time too. So we'll- Gold today, man, gold today. Gold, oh, we're gonna find gold. <laughs> yeah. Well, we still have all that property down there and it's just so big, there's no way, and all that back down there, we just no way we covered it all. And plus we have uh, our old location, the uh, plantation that we go to and they plowed up that field. So we may hit that later on this evening or tomorrow. So we got lots to do. So let's get out in the field. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's go swing. Well, today I'm gonna to be hunting with my Equinox. We're gonna leave it in park one because I have great success on park one. I know I have people tell me go field and all this other stuff, but I have so much success in park one. Uh, we're going to leave our sensitivity. We're going to bring it down to 20. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just check, leave everything where it's at and go to my recovery speed to five. And uh, I'll go ahead and noise cancel. And we are ready to roll. I'm, I'll be in multi-frequency as well and the horseshoe is gonna be off. Okay, let's get to swinging. Bayou's out here. Now you know why you call him Bayou Diggs. Look, he's down by the bayou. And we actually have property right across the bayou in that big field over there. We'll hit later on today. Well, we just moved away from behind this building with a bunch of trash. It was an automotive store, so a lot of car stuff we're digging up. Came back over here to where this church is. Got my first target for the day. Bringing up like a 25, 26. And I'm not really sure what this is. It's got glass on both sides. And it's got something on the inside. I don't know. I thought it was kind of like a gauge or something, but what would have glass on both sides? Wow, I have no clue. That's going to be a mystery item. I'll have to research that one. Still out here by the old church. I thought I was staying in this little lot for just a little bit. Got a 24, thinking it's going to be like a wheat penny, but uh, popped it up and it looked like a quarter. Then I picked it up. And it's not a quarter. It's going to be a token, I think. So let's look at it. There it is right there. It's going to have writing all over it. So, let me get this cleaned up, and I'll show you a better picture of it. And what we got is the 32nd president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. It is a New Deal token. New Deal token. 1939 to 1940, uh, I think it says over here, 1944. That's a good find. I like I like historical stuff like this. Has a assistant secretary of the Navy and some other stuff right there. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on digging. There may be some good stuff out here. I love tokens. I well, still work in this area uh, by this old church. I'm digging up red brick, so I think there was an old house site here. And I uh, got another 24, uh, 24, 25, just like that other token. And I think I got another token, but it's a different one. 
Check it out. I can see a definitely a bust. I don't know which one this is going to be. I can get it in the light for you. Let me clean this one up and we'll see what this one's going to be. All right, we'll bring out the water. Yeah, it's going to be the same type of token. It's going to be a different president. That's neat. I don't have any of these in my collection. This is going to be uh, maybe Uly Ulysses S. Grant. We'll see what he is. He's got the same writing on the back. Uh-oh, camera fell over. So, let me dry him up a little bit. President, it's kind of harder. Nineteenth president. Who's our nineteenth president? Do you know who that is? That's going to be Rutherford B. Johnson. That's who that's going to be. Rutherford B. Johnson. All right. Let's set him down right there. It says something on the back. I can't read it. Let's get his portrait. Let's keep on swinging. It's getting a 22 and popped it up. And it's going to be an old brass key. I collect these. I have a whole display of them. Check that out. I don't know what it came off of. It's full of dirt. Could be a clock winding key. That's an old relic. Green brass. I like seeing that. What's very deep? About three inches. All right. Let's get our picture. Let's keep on going. Train's coming by. Bayou Digs way out in the background. Still out here in this old home site by this church. And I just got me a 1213. Popped it up. It's going to be a buffalo nickel. Going to have a date on it too. Let's see if I can get you that date. It's going to be a 1936 buffalo nickel. I think that may be a Sharps and Hankins, though. Sure does look like a Sharps and Hankins. I've never dug a bullet like that. If it's a Sharps and Hankins, it's a rare bullet. And it's probably about worth 100 bucks. But still, that's a cool-looking bullet, though, man. I like that. What else you got? Any good stuff? Now, every time you come, oh, I find you rings. You find a ring. So you are the ring king because you bring them. Yeah, that's gold-plated, though, isn't it? <laughs> of course. Hey, you, you called gold, though. You didn't specify gold-plated, but you, you're off the hook. All right, man. You got a uh oh, you got a couple of good finds there. Yeah, not too bad. A couple of weedies. Yeah, a Doing couple of weedies. Good. All right, let's keep swinging. Well, we moved on from that church area, and we're coming back over here where the circus grounds are. But I'm just working myself by this sidewalk coming up through here, by uh, close to this old house right here. It's getting a 13, thinking it's going to be a nickel, and I dug it up, and it's not a nickel. It's going to be something, maybe another token. Let me show it to you. It's about four inches deep. There it is. I can't make it out. Definitely has writing on it. That's something there. Let me clean it up. Let me give you a better shot at it. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a nice... Uh, a nice token. That's the kind I really like. These are the ones that have value. I'm about out of holy water. All right. It's going to say something brand, brand, Dito, something two and a half cent something. Yeah, it's going to be a two and a half cent token. Bandig. Bandid. I don't know. My eyes are bad. You can probably read it in the screen better than I can. 
And we have two and a half cent token. I love these kind of tokens. Send something. No, nope, E A N D I D G. I don't know. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Let's get a picture and keep on going. Here's the back of it. Nothing on the back that I can tell. Two and a half cent token. Well, I came back here where Bayou Digs is before we go over to the circus ground. Just digging some trash, but I got a 12, 13. And it popped up a nickel, and it looks thin, and it looks old. So it's either going to be a shield nickel. No, it's going to be a V nickel. I can see the Lady Liberty right there. Right there, I think. There she is right here. There she is. Maybe you can make her out a little bit. I don't know if I get a date on that or not. It looks like 18 something. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit and get a date on it. Well, it's going to be a 19 something, 19 teen. Uh, I can see a 191 on it, on the green down there. But I can't make anything else out on it. It's pretty white. All right, I got my shield nickel. I mean, my buffalo nickel and my V nickel. Now I just got to go for the the shield nickel. Well, you can't come to Louisiana if you don't dig a tax token. I tell you what, every time. Well, we're back out here at the circus grounds, and this is where we found all that stuff on that last video. Uh, well, my last video here, and. Uh, I just got a 18, 19, 20, and it came up the Texas and Pacific Bell Seal 8178. I'll put that in my display of my railroad memorabilia. All right. Promising. See if we can find some more stuff out here. Getting 11, 12, and this popped it up with my shovel. That's going to be right there. That's going to be another. V nickel. I don't know. I rubbed it and rubbed off a little bit of the patina already. There she is. This one's going to be a little bit better shape. You can see the V on the back of this one. Let me see if I can get a date for you. I think it's going to be a 1906 V nickel. Pretty good shape. I'm back over here where I found that 1852 uh, Bank of Canada large scent uh, about a month ago, and we're on the other side of the church now, from down from the circus grounds, and we're looking around. I'm back out here in this yard, and I'm just kind of going back, gritting it out really well, and trying to go at a different angle than I did last time. And I got a 2829, popped it up. Check this out. I see silver in the hole. Right there. Let me get in here where you can see it. Let's pop it. That's going to be a barber and a great shape barber at that. 1916. Let's see if there's a mint mark on it. S. 19. 1916 S. Too bad that's not a, a uh, mercury dime. 1916 S. That's in good shape. Let's put it up there. That's the first silver for the day. About time. We've been digging a while now. All right. Maybe there's one. Maybe he's got a brother or sister out here. Let's keep going. Man, we're just not getting a whole lot today like last time, but I'm digging these real iffy targets and uh, let that truck get by. And I dug a pipe up down here an orange looking pipe and I thought that was it then I started scooping out the dirt then I saw this silver rim you can see the pipe back in here and that's what it was a jumpy signal and I got that and then I just started scooping out then I saw that oh it's a stay hey, cell cue hey. <laughs> you dug one over here too didn't I did, you right over there oh let's see what this is going to be a 1927 nice 
27 dug a 16 barber on the other side of the sidewalk i'm in an old house lock right here this one's in pretty good shape i mean it's a little worn yeah all right i'll take that man 1927 what do you think about that my turn your turn <laughs> i've got two silvers now he dug one over by that big tree right there. He dug a Del Cell Q, and that's where I dug that 1852 large scent. So we dug all those other coins on that side of the sidewalk. So I'm hunting this one. There's a lot of tacks over here, roofing, roofing tacks. Tax, and so yeah. I'm digging through those roofing tacks. <laughs> so, all right, let's get a picture and let's keep digging. Well, I came back over here by the church. I got a 28 and got a makeup case. You reckon there's a coin in there? No coin. I wish there would be a coin in there one day. Well, we're going to call it a day at that location. And we have a new permission that we're going to right now. It's another plantation home, and the plantation home is still on the property. It's been hunted before, but uh, we're going to go over there and give it about an hour. And then we're going to go to another plantation. I've done uh, a video called uh, Got Seated at a Haunted Plantation. Uh, I think it was last year I did it. I'm not sure, but it's a it's a big plantation home. That plantation home is still there too, but they just got the sugar cane off of the field, so the field is just backed up, so it's a good chance there'll be some stuff out there. So we'll end the evening over there. So I will see you at the plantation. Back to 1850. Don't know if they're doing some renovations or they're getting ready to move. That's a beautiful home. Look at the size of these uh, trees. They're huge. Camera doesn't do it justice. That tree's probably eight foot across. That's huge. All right, let's get out here and let's see if we can find something. I just came over here to the side of the house. My first target. And I just popped it up, it's ringing a 28. Oh, and it's gonna be a mercury dime. Yeah. That's gonna be a mercury. No old silver. 19, I think 1942. Let's get out of the sun. 1942. I'll take a 42. All right, let's get something that says 1842. Well, here was my mercury dime. And then right here is gonna be a silver or nickel. 1943 P or D, I can't tell P. All right, that's two silvers. Haven't been here five minutes. The bayou runs right behind the mansion. Check how big this tree is. Look how long that branch is. Beautiful. I'm gonna get my drone out and get some drone shots. This place is huge. Back here behind on this hill, I'm thinking people walked and played and laid on this hill out back this by this bayou. Surely there's something out here. And I was digging something. Look at this. That is one one and a half pro pointers deep so eight about 14 15 inches and i brought this right here up it's some type of uh it's brass i don't know if it's a 
some type of lid. Let me clean it up and get a little bit of shot. Yeah, it's going to be a very old. You see the two hinges here and the clasp right there. Very old makeup case. Very old. This is hard brass, not like tin. This is ringing up like a 30. Ah, I'll take that. That's a neat little relic. Come here, baby. Come on. What's your name? Huh? You got a name? No? We got a glass looking eye and a brown eye. Mm-hmm. I always get dogs to come to me. I don't know why. I'm a dog whisperer. Yeah. I'm going to call you Bayou. Okay? I'm going to call you Bayou. Bayou. I'm back here by the Bayou still. <clears throat> and I'm getting a 31, 32. Very deep. Oh, it's at least 10 inches deep. Check this out. Some type of relic. Got a hole right there. Almost looks like a some type of something to a handle. Check that out. Now that is something neat. I like relics. I have to see what this was. A lot of curvature on it. All right, running out of daylight. Let's keep on going. I moved up in the front of the house now, just kind of working these trees. This uh, plantation was spared by the Union soldiers, so we're thinking maybe they camped out here. Anyway, I was getting very deep signal, about nine inches deep, and just popped it up, still in the coin ball. I thought we'll reveal this together and see what it is. I don't know if I hope it's going to be an Indian. I haven't got an Indian all day. All right. Let me get the camera set up and we'll look at it together. All right. Is it just going to be... Nope, going to be an Indian. Yeah, it's going to be an Indian. I can see the back of it. Right there, let's flip it over. Let me uh, clean it up and we'll get you a date off of it. All right, it's going to be a 1900 Indian head penny. I'll take that all day long. Boy, it was deep. Bayou has got the token over here, and we're at this plantation. It's called Lloyd Hall. And check that out. It looks like silver. Yeah. If I can get it in a in frame. And that's going to be a Lloyd Hall. That's going to be the token to that mansion right there. Well, that's a good find, man. It's about time you got something today. <laughs> Man, you haven't got nothing today, have you? I did. I found a nice bullet. Bullet? Yes, right. <laughs> Sharps and Hankins. The sun is going down. It's been a long day. Yeah, before I give up, though, I got me an Indian. How about that? Can you tell the date? I can't. <laughs> Just right on top of the ground right here. Just scratched it with my pro pointer. All right, let me see if I can get a date for you. Well, I made it in the 1800 Club. It's going to be an 1891. 1891. All righty. Well, that's going to be it for day one. And uh, we're going to get up in the morning. We've got a new permission uh, across the bayou from the circus grounds. And as uh, far as we know, it's never been hunted. So we're going to go over there and give it a little shot and see if not, we got a fallback field that we can go to as well. Ain't that right, Bayou? Yes. He didn't have a good day today. Yes, I had a wonderful day. A wonderful day. We I just didn't did, find... did find a lot of finds. Yeah, but I had, gr I had a good, good day. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> I'm wore out. This field has wore me out. So. Well, that's going to make it. Day one is in the books. And uh, I'm actually shooting day one wrap up on day two, but uh, I didn't want to. I didn't know how today was going to go. If I was going to have enough for one video or do enough for two videos, but I had enough for two. And so you'll see this today, this week, and then the next one next time. But uh, we searched this 10 acres. We went over to that uh, other field and we didn't find anything over there at that other field at all. It's just uh, quiet. And, and so we just came back over here and spent two days in this circus ground. And it's 10 acres. It's a lot to do. And there's probably still a lot of targets out here. So let me flip you around. Let me show you what I got. All right. There is all my trash from day one. And uh, all types of stuff there. 
and here is some of my treasures. I do not know what this is. It's a it's got lead in the middle. It's glass on this side, glass on that side. I thought it might be a pressure gauge, but not with two sided glass. I don't know. I got a big compact case. I mean that is huge. And uh, cool looking some some type of handle. I think it's a very ornate, maybe a window window in a like a plantation home where it would lock it like that right there we think that may be what that is i got a watch or some type of winding key i got a spoon that says fuller's cafe on it i got three little buttons tough nut overall button got two bell seals i got two presidential tokens these may be cracker jackets uh, the, uh, Ellen, uh, the, um, oh what's his name um Delano, Delano Roosevelt, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and uh, Rutherford B. Hayes. Uh, those are two tokens. I got two Louisiana tax tokens. And then I got this real cool, this is a, it's, it stands for Steamer J.M. Sandig, and it was a, uh, a ferry token for two and a half cents to go across the ferry before they built the bridge across the Red River. So this is kind of a rare token. That's a real nice thing. I got two Wheaties. I did get my trifecta in nickels. I got a Buffalo nickel. I got two V nickels. Then I got a War nickel. I was going for that uh, Shield nickel. We dug three, four of them out of here. We didn't get one today. I got two Indian heads. One 1890 something and the other 1900. I got a 1942 Merc. 1916 Barber. A 1927 Standing Liberty Quarter. And so, there you go. There's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can find in a circus ground. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. God bless. Mm -hmm.